Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. Let's get into your weekly tarot reading today for August going into September, Aquarius, and see what's going to be happening for you. All right, darling. So if you enjoy this today, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as your Venus sign, Aquarius. We're going to be getting into three rows for you today, darling. Your first row today, we're going to be making some predictions for you. All right. While the future is never solid, of course, Aquarius, I can still make some pretty solid predictions about what's going to happen in your life. All right. Should you continue down the path you are going? Your second row today, we're going to talk about what you need to hear today Aquarius all right this could be serving as a spiritual message for some of y'all but it also could just be serving as a uh, aff affirming message of what you've been already feeling intuitively and then your third row which is my personal favorite row Aquarius this is not for the sensitive so when it comes to the third row you might want to click off some of y'all darling Aquarius because the third row we're going to be getting into some uh, brutal truths all right this is what we are going to be talking about when we are making a action plan for how you can claim this abundance that we talk about darling so you have a sense of direction when you leave your tarot readings here today all right so we have the king of wands as the back of the deck energy for you aquarius all right you are being called to a higher power here, Aquarius, all right? Something I want to be pointing out with the King of Wands is that this, I see you as this, granted, darling, I know you are a, an air sign with the word aqua at the beginning, so everything, it's very opposite, the very opposite <laughs> of like that Leo fiery energy here, right? But I see you as this, uh, as this King of Wands here, Aquarius, where it's like you're holding the torch with your passion, right? And that's where your crown is attached, associated with that, Aquarius, really representing this sense of where you are a sense of an authority in some type of passion pursuit maybe it's writing for some of you guys something more arts related or whatever whatever you feel that personal passion about all right and you are it's this sense here where it's just like you are still you're like some type of trailblazer you are leading the charge here and even the lion right isn't they're like the king of the savannah right or whatever there's like a quote or saying that there's associated with them that sounds more badass but it's like even the lion respects this king of wands here because they have this salamander uh coming uh protecting them the salamander has the symbology aquarius of where you're the having the immunity of fire of uh, the immunity from being burned uh where the queen of wands actually doesn't right but the king of wands has this protection when it comes to their passion so it's like that sense uh aquarius where it's like you can't really go wrong you can't falter by leading with your passion or whatever it is that you personally feel inspired by that's where your crown is associated with aquarius all right y'all didn't come into this day reading today aquarius thinking you're gonna have a whole little lesson on that one card i could get into the uh, unpacking the imagery on that on its own really aquarius but let's get into your predictions today all right you have the four swords the nine of pentacles as well as the temperance stepping forward to you today aquarius for your predictions what i get for you aquarius is like have patience at this time because i see you guys having some major accomplishments but your major accomplishments only comes in during like short periods and i don't mean the sense i know that might sound like a turnoff initially aquarius but i see like this sense of where you have like very strong momentum when it comes to your nine of pentacles to you know your personal crafts your endeavors there it's like you have strong momentum and you get a lot of work done and then I see you also having those moments where you take a moment to pause, all right? What I want you to be doing at this time, Aquarius, is like taking advantage of those sudden surges of energy that you feel towards like whatever is inspiring you and really just like bury yourself in that hole and just commit to it as long as the inspiration has is holding and then take that break period because it's going to come back again, all right? There is this sense of balance I want you to have now, Aquarius, where it's like, I feel like some of you guys have faltered in this before i don't know why falter is my favorite word for y'all's reading <laughs> i sound like i'm a damn thesaurus watch one game of thrones episode now and i use those type of words honey um i do get this sense of where the imbalance comes in for you aquarius in the past of where it's just like you wouldn't give yourself the break periods you would just have like that nine of pentacles this mission where you're just like oh spirit is really guiding me to do x y and z i gotta just commit to this for months at a time and without a break that's fine and fabulous once in a while if you can handle it aquarius but i feel like there needs to be a little bit more balance for some of y'all at least where you give yourself the break period rather than trying to push through the writer's block rather than trying to push through the blockages whatever that whenever it comes you give yourself the grace and having that rest period because it's going to come back again quicker all right 
that's where the balance really needs to come in is like that work and play balance a little bit girl these cards are really trying to <laughs> trying to give me attitude right now so we'll use these three clarifiers here i'll we'll put this deck to the side <clears throat> all right so aquarius we have the five of pentacles the seven of cups here with the world card coming in all right i feel like for some of y'all there's it speaks about this being unable to let go of a cycle aquarius that makes you feel bad which makes me feel weird about this here all right i see that with this world and five of pentacles for you it's like there's this sense of where you know like you're long overdue to put like to end something aquarius to start a new journey for yourself but for some reason you're still clinging on to it like perhaps like there's certain relationships in your life that make you feel like this five of pentacles where you don't feel like you're as empowered as that king of wands that we were talking about prior right and it's this time for you to just let go of that all right the world card representing closing out a cycle so you can begin this new way of yourself all right for some of you aquarians it's hard you know just speaking in a general sense it's really hard uh aquarius to really consider your future of what you want to explore about yourself from a from an elevated point if you continuously surround yourself with people who make you feel ashamed from being that king of wands there all right the king of wands uh only allows people in their life that respect them and see them as the king of wands for who they truly are all right and so i want to just give this message here aquarius where it's like some of y'all don't be afraid of like letting go of those people that really make you feel lesser than all right i see for many of you aquarians as well you're dipping your hand in multi a multitude of pots but you only are able to dip your hand in a multitude of pots if you take care of that five of pentacles energy where you either go through that burnout or you go like whatever is like making you have this reality in yourself that you feel like you wouldn't be able to excel at uh having your hands in multiple pots stop being afraid of experimenting all right is what i hear and I think we'll leave it with that, Aquarius, because I've been running my mouth about your predictions here for a hot biscuit. But we're still going to just continue on here, uh, Aquarius, with what you need to hear today. The Two of Swords, the Tower card, as well as the Nine of Cups. All right. Some of you Aquarians are settling right now. All right. And this is what I'm, you, you know, I got to ramp you up for this here, Aquarius. If you, I see some of you guys pulling out, setting, about ready to set up camp somewhere. You're getting yourself comfortable with the situation, darling. And Spirit's seeing that. It's just like, uh-uh. Uh, you know the nine of cups right i always talk about this when it comes to the nine of cups like that you need to it's it only happens through that eight of cups journey and sometimes people need to remember that where they started initially all right while the nine of cups on its own it does represent like a wish being granted for you aquarius you know we can't neglect the extreme positivity of the nine of cups so i'm sure some of you guys are probably a little bit puzzled like velka girl why are you reacting so strongly about this honey it's like the nine of cups she's fabulous right but the eight of cups the only reason why you left this situation before aquarius as the eight of cups is because you you were you know in your heart of hearts like you know you're hopeful that you are that at some point you would find 10 cups all right you leave this eight of cups situation in hopes for that positive future in hopes that you find 10 cups even though you have no proof that it's happening all right so you were just on your journey here aquarius and you have nine cups which is fabulous but it's not 10 cups all right so don't get comfortable with the success and accomplishments that you're going to be having in the coming days aquarius because i see for you straight up if you start getting comfortable you start setting up camp honey you're going to be having that tower moment and the decision is going to be you're Gonna have a decision forced upon you aquarius where you're gonna have to make the choice of choosing to stay in your comfort level in your comfort zone of that nine of cups or choosing to uh go into this new path here for the ten cups there all right there's some sense of sacrifice i feel that is associated with you aquarius to go forward to the ten of cups and i'm not just here to sugarcoat this i mean i do see a lot of positivity for you aquarius in the coming days but i just I will just be that person where it's just like, yes, darling, let's celebrate your wins. Let's celebrate your victories. You guys are on the right path right now. Like truly, I don't really want to edit you guys truly too much here, but it's just like, let's, I just see the momentum picking up even more for you, Aquarius. I just see this sense for you where it's just like, girl, like this is fabulous. This food is fabulous, but you, there's so much more that you're destined for. So it's not a sense, Aquarius, where it's like stuff that's happening to, around and what's coming for you is like bad. It truly is good, but let's, let's, 
still plan for the next for your next victory right it's like you have your celebration sure you're celebrating that you won your oscar but while you're celebrating having your celebration for that oscar for that grammy you need to you're planning for how you're going to get that tony how you're going to be getting girl i don't know any other <laughs> i don't know i can't think of your vma girl i don't whatever awards you understand what i'm trying to say hopefully all right there's still like much so much work to be done and for whatever the reason is i do feel like it's important right now for you aquarius to just really take advantage of just i don't know i feel like i usually don't get into the, the whole woo woo like portal like we're in a like the vortex girl would talk whatever but i really do feel like for for whatever the case is in your life aquarius like there's gonna be a really opportune time aquarius where you're gonna have a lot of accomplishments and things are gonna come easy for you for maybe your situation i don't know there's just this sense where i don't want you to be settling here all right many masks the authentic self for you aquarius all right i feel like for some of you aquarius aquarians that's what this is i would even associate this with the seven of cups aquarius where it's like the many mask of yourself you know so it's like you have your spiritual side but then you also have your business side you have your side of where you like video games you have this there's so many sides so many i mean girl i could talk i always say my aquarians no like i love an aquarius because of how complex they are and so i feel like for many of you aquarians like your journey here is like instead of having everything compartmentalized fighting like your path is a way like your success in the coming days comes from taking all those compartmentalizations all those different faces of yourself and bringing it together as one one whole identity aquarius whatever that means for you here all right let's continue on here with some more oracle cards you have even take note aquarius the 11 card will i'll explain more why this is extremely relevant in your life but the 11 card you know you know 11 11 make a wish honey all that type of stuff there but 11 is definitely your number this week it is a master number full moon in pisces forgive darling this is kind of i'm not gonna lie here aquarius i'm not even gonna be unpacking this and you know like spending five minutes talking about this because this kind of feels like out of left field aquarius so i'll just like have this card relevant for y'all in the sense of being like girl i pulled this for you whatever this means for you it means that whatever all right because th th that just feels really out of left field <laughs> aquarius i'm gonna be honest i feel like that's just like it just has more meaning maybe i'm just that's a cop out but i just feel like it has more personal meaning than i could even unpack in a general tarot reading so take that as you are new moon in gemini communication is key girl for some reason i feel like all three of these are relevant to aquarius all right communication is key forgiving and the masks i don't know I feel like this is just something that we ha you have to unpack personally, Aquarius. But um, I'm going to just leave that there because that just feels like a very different energy from what I was connecting to those last two cards anyways. So let me know what that's about in the comments, Aquarius, if you feel like sharing, of course. I, you know, I'm, I'm fully aware that not everyone is as open as I am. <laughs> Sometimes I regret I am uh, that I am as open as I am. Uh, so now, Aquarius, let's get into your brutal, brutal truths for today. This is where if you're sensitive, darling, click on off. Love you so much. Kisses, smooches, honey. All right. You know, it's all fine and dandy to receive your tarot readings on YouTube, darling. But let's have you leave this video today with an action plan for where you need to be, what you need to be doing for your next step. We can talk about all the abundance and all the positivity, darling. Let's have some honest truths with ourselves of what we personally need to work on. All right. So, Aquarius, honey, all right, we have this uh, star card, which is you, honey, by the way, all right, you have this star card, which is also associated with the wish being granted, so I talked to you already beforehand, Aquarius, pay attention, honey, you said this number 11 here, and why it would be relevant, so I said, you know, I already said that, right, so really putting forth this message is like wish being granted for you, so it's like that sense of like acknowledging your desires, uh, Aquarius, and not just brushing them off to the side, anyways, you have the star, the magician card, which again, my regulars can vouch for me, Aquarius, so they they can let you know that I'm not just saying it just to say it. I know it's not associated with the Aquarius, the magician, but I always say that Aquarians are mad scientists and I associate the magician as the mad scientist. So two cards, at least to me, I see them as you, Aquarius. And then the Ten of Cups here. 
All right. Brutal truths. Brutal truths here for you. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be honest here, Aquarius. Even just like looking at this initially, like all these are extremely positive cards. So you can't really take this in a way of like criticizing to be really honest here. Aquarius, I feel like the brutal truth here is just like acknowledging, acknowledging things for what they are. All right. Acknowledging the things that like that you wish on the things that where you hope and like have always hoped to see yourself when you were a little kid of like what you always dreamed of, what you always wanted, whether it's through your relationships or just through your career, what have you, that it can happen. Right. Acknowledging that it's real, acknowledging, you know, being your full authentic self. There was that star card. Right. It really aligns with the many masks of yourself. Right. This is your energy as the star card than the many masks like there is like this consistent th underlying theme Aquarius some of y'all gonna have to watch this back a few times because I know there's like for you to understand like how much synchronicity this all your reading is here but um there is like this coming together here but it also acknowledging Aquarius of like you being a master of many trades all right the magician card there's the reason why the magician is usually depicted with the sword with the wand with the cups it's like using all the tools in the toolbox that the magician has to manifest the reality that they want to see in this world and some of you need to acknowledge that you have the ability to do that acknowledging that you have that potential really and because it's one thing and i because i want to take it it's very different from faking it till you make it but also just like because i feel like that's a cop out you don't want to fake it until you make it because that's going under the uh assumption that it's not who you are until you decide to believe it you want to just immediately go in with the with the mindset of being like of course i can be be good at this of course this is my calling right owning your greatness more here right so the king of wands we'll go back to that back of the deck energy owning your greatness because the lion can tell the the lion can sniff out insecurity, honey. All right. So as well as with this 10 of cups here, some of you might be really cynical about uh, your circle of people here, Aquarius. All right. And I don't want to, I want to say this, but at the same time, I don't. So I'll just say both ways in case my bias is just trying to avoid hearing people in the comments complain about this here. But I want to, what I'm hesitant on saying Aquarius initially, no shade, by the way, I'm hesitant on saying but I also know from your previous readings as well, just get it out, Velka. I want to say that there's people in your life, again, that you could trust, or it's like your story, your success story doesn't come from being extremely independent. While I know this is very opposite Aquarius of the magician card because the magician is full solo, like lone wolf here, but it is the sense where it's like you do have this Ten of Cups energy associated with what it is that you desire, all right? With the thing that you always have wished upon there, all right? Yes, there's that part of where you acknowledge your own potential, but you're not alone in that uh, those accomplishments there, all right? Ten of Cups, some of you guys might just be cynical about the people that you're currently around. This is not a debate to say that you, you know, the people that you see do or don't have potential. I don't know your life here, all right? But what I can tell you, Aquarius, is that your success story definitely is not you just being alone in it. Your success story also involves having really good people around you. And I only reason why, because I brought it up earlier about how like in your previous videos, like in your previous videos, Aquarius, I was talking about where it's like, um, I believe you see, I know, I know, I remember my readings, honey, where it's like I in previous weeks where I was kind of giving y'all a hard time of like finding the balance between it's just like, okay, like you have your passions, what have you, you know, learning how to delegate people who are able to do what you're not able to do, right? So you can be about your passion and delegating people who know how to do social media, be able to help you with social media or just whatever it is some of you guys are so afraid of having your hands in multiple pots because you want to be involved in every step of the way feeling like you are part of that creation process when the only way that you're able to dip your hands in so many different pots here Aquarius is through the assistance of others all right and kind of accepting that truth there all right so that's how i perceive these cards anyways aquarius of course my readings are always collaborative so you can perceive these cards in whatever way that you want as well all right but that's what i see for you aquarius hopefully this reading was helpful give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it because it really does help my channel out a lot and i love you so much darling and i'll connect with you in the future darling all right bye aquarius